you know this is a really impromptu episode because i'm coming here natural hair and all no makeup hair tie chilling with no makeup on that's when you're the prettiest i hope you don't take it wrong type time because this is a psa public service announcement that i just wanted to talk about and get out Good evening, my loves. I am back again with another episode of an impromptu episode of Sis is Just Not God's Best for You Self Actualize and Shine podcast show. You know, this is a really impromptu episode because I'm coming here, natural hair and all, no makeup, hair tie, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope you don't take it wrong type time because this is a PSA public service announcement that I just wanted to talk about and get out. But y'all, I want to talk about um, the Portia Rosemond situation. And I feel like it's a story that went viral um, with the woman that was married to, uh, well, she was married for 18 years um, to a guy. And No, no, no. She was with a guy for 18 years and they were married for five years. And she went away for a business convention and came back and seen that all her stuff was going out of the the house he was going the husband was going her stuff was going he just packed up and left with no rhyme or reason he didn't warn her didn't tell her anything he just got up and left so i really don't want to talk about you know their marital situation you know that's none of my business and all that good stuff but i do want to talk about the things that she shared and what she talked about and um her self-esteem. So I wanted to title this podcast show in particular on why you have to get your validation from within and not from men, because she actually talked about that as well when she was sharing her story, when she really sat back and um, looked at the situation for what it was. She was just seeing how her husband gave her that love that she was seeking for and that she always wanted. And, you know, when you look for outside external validation, I feel like you're always going to come up short because in a way they're controlling you, like how they see you determines how you see you. So they can change from one day to the next, which will make you unstable in your own relationship. You will continuously work or perform or to fit in, get in where you fit in with this person just to make them happy because making them happy makes you happy but I really feel like happiness is something that you have to have within yourself and for yourself um because like I said you'll just be going up and down with people because people all can always change and switch up and act funny but I feel like one thing's for sure two things is for certain is you always have to bet on you you always have to love you you always have to validate you tell yourself you're beautiful special wonderful you deserve love you deserve the best treatment you deserve for somebody to be hype over you and i'm saying that because it's making me think about love and marriage huntsville and you know tisha and marcel their situation or whatever you know what i mean like just i i don't like seeing women beg for love or beg for attention or beg for the man to spend time with them or you know I just don't like seeing that <sighs> anytime you feel like you have to you're you're begging somebody for something no matter what it is you have to like let it go um because in a way they're controlling you and I feel like no one should control you but God or no one has a final say or should be able to have you jumping through hoops and hurdles to please them you are not a circus animal you know what I mean you do not have to perform to get love and Again, it's a renewing of your mind. It's, again, learning to love yourself as God loved you. Because you know what I mean? Like, if you didn't do anything, God was still, Jesus still went to the cross and died for you. There's no way you can work for his love, but he loves you. You know what I mean? He loves you flaws and all, your weaknesses, your shortcomings. He loves you. And it's just almost like, oh my gosh, like you just really have to like think about that for a second. Just, just sit in that. And realize that you are worth dying for. So someone, if someone is not giving you that energy, and especially I feel like if it's your husband or your significant other is not giving you that energy, like you are not like that girl, you know, you might have to distance yourself. 
distance yourself until they recognize like you, you is it. And it's, and I feel like it's easier said than done, especially if you're not married. If you're not married, you know what I mean? You can like walk away because you have no ties or no, or no covenant. So that's who I want to talk to. Cause really, I really feel like with Portia situation, we all can learn as women. Um, because even if you're not married, you probably been her probably been that woman that was trying to perform to get love from the man um like i said you want to do everything to make him happy because you feel like that 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 means like everything is okay with you you know what i mean and that can't go that's really just that really just says that your cup isn't full you know what i mean like your cup is not running over with your own self-love and appreciation and it's okay, you know, we all get depleted. It's really, it usually happens like either when we weren't affirmed as children or sometimes life situations can kind of like drain your cup, but it's okay. We can fill our cups back up as we remind ourselves of who God created us to be, fearfully and wonderfully made. And that's something that you have to continuously tell yourself over and over and over again until it's in your subconscious because you know right now a lot of the things that the world said about you is in your subconscious what your ex-boyfriend said about you is in your subconscious what the kids at school said about you is in your subconscious so you have to reroute rewrite the script that's you know playing in the back of your mind and just eject the bad and put the good and it can be whatever you want you can rewrite the script to say whatever it is that you want it to to say you know what i mean doesn't matter what anybody thinks it's about what you think you are the final judge so if i want to say that i am a model in paris milan i run through walkways i mean runways so be it that's what i believe and i'm living in my truth in my skin or what i want it to be call me delusional but so be it as long as i'm happy and i ain't hurting nobody okay if i say that i have money like oprah times 10 and I'm walking in that, acting like it, talking like it, walking like it, then let me be, you know what I mean? So I just say that, sky's the limit, you know, and keep on going, and keep on pressing on. Just, just do and affirm yourself to the 10th degree. And then somewhere eventually, you know, it'll like even itself out. But for right now, push it to the limit. Mm, yes. All right, so I have some other notes about um, the Portia Roseman situation. Um, so let me pull up the YouTube video really, really quick so we could talk about it. So y'all can see what I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not just making this stuff up. I want y'all to see, you know, her explain her feelings. And it was very deep. Push it to the limit. Um, you know, to open oh. it my Feel free to walk away. Here. Um, let me not do this video. Um, you know, to Actually, all right, all right, listen up, y'all. So I just, I love, I love her transparency. I, I mean, I love that she was able to identify that. And I really feel like that is how we grow. 
Like sometimes we don't know why when we're doing the things that we do, we don't realize why we're doing them. But sometimes it is, it does have something to do with our childhood, our experiences, our upbringing. And then when we identify the root, we can like plant something better over top. We can uproot it and plant something new, new knowledge, new wisdom, new understanding, a new outlook and a new perspective. We can, like I said, reroute the script. We can play a different song. We can have a different soundtrack to our life instead of the old one that is outdated and that we don't, we don't, that's not doing us any good. So I really appreciated her transparency in that. And I will always say, you know, because I'm learning it too, that I have to be my biggest fan, like my best supporter, my biggest cheerleader, because in life, things will throw you off track. And in life, people will throw you off track and try to make you feel down and try to bring you down. But you know what? It's okay. That's how come we have to be the light. That way we can let our light shine on them. Because, you know, sometimes a lot of people are going through darkness. So that's why they try to, like, put it on you. But it's okay because, you know, God is my source. He's going to pour back into me. So, you know, your negativity can come on me, but it's going to bounce right back off. You're going to get the love of God right back on you. So that's what it is. So um, I like that she said that. And it, you know, what also bothered me was the lack of compassion that other women had on, um, had on. Portia like they were trying to make it seem like oh she must have did something to have him do that and we don't know but at the same time like listen to the situation and how would you feel if that was you would you let somebody say that like let's say like literally she really was blindsided she did everything right like would you want somebody to say that about you like just listen to what the lady is saying like listen to her story or whatever and just show compassion to her from what she is telling us from her perspective, like, dang, yeah, I would not want that to happen to me or somebody I love, one of my family members, a sibling or, you know, an aunt or something like, you would not want that for someone else, another woman that you care about. So why can't we not see like this woman is hurting? You know what I mean? This was a messed up situation that she found herself in. So it's almost just like, oh my gosh, all that clean talk, woman self-empowerment talk, it, 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 it sounds good, you know, on social media, but then when it's time to back it up in situations like this, I see that we quick to throw the stone at like someone else and it's just not right. It's not right. So I really didn't like that. That's one thing I made a note of, but I also made a note of because this happened to her. Hmm. Hmm. After she's healed or after she's, after she has healed and during her healing process, I might need to go ahead and get a session with her because I always like the people that been through something very traumatic and that were able to overcome because I feel like it's a, a depth, depth of pain that, that, well, a depth of wisdom that was unlocked that came out of the pain. I think that's the, that's what I'm trying to say. Like sometimes you are just not going to, some people's words don't be hitting like that because they ain't really never go through anything. You know what I mean? So it, it'd be okay advice, but it just don't like touch your soul. But those people that say words that touch your soul, you wind up hearing that they had like a very like, like, whoa story. You know what I mean? So because she has a very whoa story, I know that her like self-love, coaching is going to be off the hook because she, it's like she went through the fire she went through the flood and you know what i mean when you come through the fire you come out as pure gold honey baby you come out shining so i really hope that for her or whatever um i just i just wrote that experience has taught me me personally that the more i cried about something is the more i shine later on you know what i mean it's like it's 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 just the process you know, the tears be watering the plants of what's supposed to come up for me. You know what I mean? The, 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 the seeds in the ground that God has for me. You know, sometimes they only can come through pain, you know? And, and I just know that, like, oh, this part of my hair is sticking up. I just know that every time I go through something that made me cry, that disappointed me, a setback or whatever, I just come out, like, so much better so i just i just know that uh, uh, i'm just gonna bounce back you know um if i don't let it bury me if i don't let the shame the embarrassment the the letdown bury me 
and let it plant me so I can grow and be a stronger little butterfly, buttercup, daisy, sunflower, favorite flower in the ground. You know what I mean? The rose that grew from concrete type time. That's what type time I really try to be on. So, um, yeah. So if something really hurt me, I just learned that um, when something really hurt me or devastated to my core, you know that hurt. I bounced back. You know, you really going to see God's glory on me. Even this, all that you see me doing now came from some pain, okay? Came from some, some tears or whatever. But you know, I know how to package my tears up and present it to you. There's going to be something good, you know? I know how to do that. I'm, I'm the bounce back queen. I'm for the bounce. I'm for the bounce back queens out there. You know what I mean? Like, it, I know it hurt, homegirl. Like, I know it hurt. I know it didn't feel good. I know that 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 setback. You, then you get fired from the job. You lose your. I know all that stuff did not feel good. But if you will allow, well, you could just now. It's like your downtime to build up to what you want to be, to to be that woman that you wanted to be. So. Um, yeah. So Portia, if you're out there listening, we support you. You have some girl like homegirls that support you and like pray your heart in the Lord and that he will mend your broken heart. But I just I know that through the pain, you be able to pray like you never prayed before. You'll be, you'll be able to come before God in a way that you probably never came to him before. It's like the humbling, you know, and that's what God wants from us. Like a humbled heart, a contrite heart, a broken spirit, a contrite spirit. Like he wants that. He, you know, like a lot of, a lot of times we come before God prideful, like we got it all together, but who we talking to God, we talking to the great I am. He knows everything about you. So sometimes it takes that like I, I just i'm really like the person that looks at pain and trials to know that um that's not the end of the story it be feeling like it but you know as a child of god as children of god it's not the end of the story if it don't end in victory it's just not over like it, it gotta flip to victory victory gotta be on top it, it gotta be the outcome and that's it so if it's not victory if it's not overcoming if not triumphant right now in your life in your season it ain't over god ain't done because god will get the glory you know what i mean point blank period you know what i mean god is god is greater in every scheme plot trap of the enemy you know what i mean he always makes a way of an escape for us that's what kind of god we serve so remember that Portia girl, remember that, um, you know, get before God. It's a perfect time when your heart is broken, when you're crying, when you don't know what to do. Even if you're not going through a situation, a relationship where you just don't know what to do, you're in a perfect position where, all, where there's no other open doors. You don't see no way out. It's time to tap into the supernatural. It's time to go to the throne, the throne of God. Come before him because in in and I really believe that's where God wants you to be anyway, where you have no other no other source but him. That way he can get the glory. Cause you know, I'm I'm one of those people that want God to get the glory. I don't like people to say, you know, if God uses somebody to help me, then blessed be the name of the Lord. But you know what I mean? Like sometimes God will have it so only he can get the glory, like for real. Because he don't want nobody else to say, oh, I did that for Sequoia, or I did that for, I, no, no, this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes, the Lord's doing, okay, not your doing, not, yeah, so, remember that, but, um, overall, again, I came on here because I wanted to talk about we as women have to get validation from within and not men. And like, and as Portia stated, you know, I feel like this is more common for women that grew up without a father. So that validation cup or hole that's with within us wasn't filled. 
from the beginning. You know what I mean? You, if you didn't have your dad doting on you growing up, telling you you're beautiful, you can do this. Oh, look, you know, going to your dance recitals and not hearing that validation, you are missing something. You do feel like you're missing something. So you will go out in the world and try to get it from, from other people that could be like that, that may not necessarily know that, but will prey on that. And, you know, they'll be, you'll be working for them to try to get that validation that you, that you don't have to work for. You know what I mean? Because when you get it from your dad, you know, it's unconditional and you're full, but nevertheless, we have a dad, you know, you know, scripture say when our mother and father forsakes us, God will take us up in the middle. And, and that's my thing. I just resetting your life to put God in it this time. You know what I mean? His word will fill every hole, crack and crevice that, you know, that is within you, that life has, you know, um, created in you. Like, he will fill you up till you overflow. I want to run over. I want to run over. Fill me up till I overflow. So, yes, God will fill you up. And I, I'm I'm telling you I'm a witness. You know, you know what, you know how people be saying I'm a witness. I can't I'm a witness too now. You know, I'm a witness that when God, when you really accept God's love for you, <clears throat> even like the person that can give you the best compliment, it really don't even trump what God says about you, okay? <laughs> Cause you know, he's the creator and ruler of everything. So I, I want to please God. I want God to be pleased with me. So again, this is what this this little impromptu podcast is about. Uh, for sis, it's just not God's best for you. Remember that validation comes from within and not from men. Um, let go of the idea of trying to look good in man's eyes and just work to please God. That's it. And-
So I want to leave you with that. And 